hey guys welcome to civil engineers adda so today i'm going to explain you uh, how to carry out a analysis of a column subjected to axial load at the center using a remote force command so you will understand what is the difference between the normal force that we apply and uh, the remote force okay guys so let me uh, show you the model that i have created in uh, space claim so this is a model that i have created in the space claim so the model is uh, i have just indicated the specification that is it is a 230 mm into 300 mm uh, column okay 230 into 300 mm column and uh, the height of the column is uh, 3000 mm mm okay that is 3 meter so let me load back uh, to the mechanical loader so the, here i am going to carry out the analysis of that column so just uh, watch my video till the end to completely and know what is the difference between the force that we usually take and a remote force option in ansys okay so quickly we'll just uh, go to the geometry here and uh, we'll see that it is a solid but the material by default it will take it as a structural steel so let us uh, convert that into a concrete okay let us make our material as a concrete material so just see this once again just click so this is a concrete it has been done now we're coming to the meshing part let me do the default meshing i uh, just say it is as a generate mesh so it will take some time depending on uh, the system ram and uh, configurations okay so this is fine i initially actually the mesh is a little bit coarser we can still go for a finer mesh but um, we we'll just see what it uh, the results is it's okay for this video now what i'm going to do i'm just going to add this is a simple column now i'm going to add a support that is we all know that it's a fixed support uh let me add a fixed support here so fixed support we have to select the face here add a fixed support yes done the fixed support the column has been supported now what i'm going to do is now the main important thing aspect is force so guys what is this force the force which i am showing or many of you usually take that the force load that distributes a force vector across one or more topologies means whatever the force if i select in this case suppose if i select this force and apply it over this region and just say geometry so what is happening here the entire force is getting distributed on the surface okay on the surface here so if you again make it as a component force here you can select you can give a load at this point means the user can change the component x component y component z component depending on the geometry of his location okay so this is a normal force okay fine so just what we'll do we'll add a, a load of minus 1000 kilo newton okay 1000 kilo newton so the force is in the downward direction the force has been added now now what i am going to do i am just also interested in knowing how to, what is the meaning of a remote force insert a force load that is applied using a remote point means at a particular point okay at a particular point this is the main difference between a normal force and a remote force remote means at a particular region or at a particular point so let me say this as a remote force so just guys and just take it up here uh, now just see that i have taken remote force i have to enter input the data so now just see here now again i have select the face select here yes now i applied the face and just say apply section to the geometry so my dear friends just see here vector let me go by the components okay so my dear friends just see the component here the x coordinate x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is 3000 mm and z also is 0 which means 
the model that i have created actually i have created a model in space claim at exactly at the center you can just see the top view here plan view mm, plan view just see just see my dear friends i have created the column exactly through the center of this uh, plane okay so only you are getting the force uh, you are getting exactly at the center here so the main thing is exactly at the center okay fine so now what i am going to do is both force and remote force so just see what is the difference here so this is a remote force this is also exactly at uh, this point here and again i will just uh, say minus 1000 e raised to 3 that is minus 1000 kilonewton okay so now this is the location so the location will change actually now what i am going to do so initially i'll just uh, uh, suppress the force that i have to actually apply so i'll just suppress this and i will just carry out the analysis so solve let me hit as a solve so it will take some time to uh, generate the results analysis results i have not loaded any other results here since uh, let me confirm that it is uh, getting solved in a quick way so it's solving so i think i will just uh, come back oh i think it's already loaded so no need to switch uh, to the other uh, cell ah yes i think the complete analysis has been done i think i'll just see elapsed time everything is fine no error fine so just come back to the solution now you can insert the total deformation and uh, one more the important that stress we will check is maximum principal stress so just we will say here right click and say evaluate all results so the total deformation is ready so the total deformation is ready and available here just see the total, total deformation is available and uh, we'll just see the maximum principal stress here okay fine so this is the maximum principal stress that is it is a thousand kilonewton okay a thousand kilonewton is not a small load mm, it's a good load actually so this is a thousand kilonewton just see here you are getting the maximum deformation as 1.4478 and here point three six just you can uh, select uh, the probe results results probe maximum minimum okay so you can understand the maximum is yet here and the minimum is at the bottom okay so fine now what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going to suppress the normal force and now i'm just going to unsuppress the force that we have to consider now again i am saying it as a solve let's see some uh, differences arise or what so here also the maximum deformation is 1.4478 and here also the principal stress is 0.6357 megapascal okay so i think uh, this is uh, okay so just think that if the remote force is a force that has to be added it will exactly add at the center okay the force addition will be exactly at the center uh, okay so that is the main thing that we are going to uh, we have understood in this video okay so i hope this was helpful so if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share the video to your friends so meet you in my next videos till then take care don't forget to subscribe my channel